the University of Washington's human-powered submarine team on the world stage, hoping for victory at an international competition in Gosport in the United Kingdom. The course consists of a kind of an out and back style where you do a straight line uh, for about 80 meters and then you make a big sweeping turn and come back the same direction towards the start line. The UW entry, christened What Sub Dog, is the product of many long months of design, complex engineering, and rigorous underwater testing, all done by UW students. The team actually designed and built their own propulsion, well, the entire system, but also the propeller itself. Human-powered sub-competition at this level requires maximum effort by all hands. The idea behind this one was to reduce our mass quite a bit so that we could accelerate more quickly off of the line, and she turns on a dime, so that's good. Beyond a pair of strong legs for pedaling, engineering a winning sub requires brain power as well. The sub is small, barely room for the pilot to squeeze in, forcing the team to somehow shrink the machinery. Our gearbox team designed a gearbox that's only 1.4 inches wide. We did put the controllable pitch propeller hub in, which was a first for our team, having one of those. Um, and all that does is at the beginning of the race, it, it shallows out the pitch of the propeller so that the pilot can get up to a higher RPM. Go, go, go. Ingenuity and hard work paid off. I would say the high point was probably for us Friday, the agility race, uh, where you take two laps of the course. Our female pilot came in first place for female speed. After a week of competition, the UW team wound up near the top. The team did fantastic this year. Um, we're really happy with how we did. We came in third place overall out of the 11 teams that showed up in competition. APL played a role in preparing the team for international competition. The original human powered sub was actually built here at APL. Faculty advisor Andy Stewart accompanied the team to Gosport. Yeah, so I got to really be a, be, feel like I was a part of the team. I actually stayed with them in some pretty interesting accommodations. <laughs> felt like a student again. Next up for the UW team, moving up from the one person what sub dog to a two person craft made of wood and presenting a whole new set of engineering challenges. This has been an excellent learning experience for the team and also for me. It, certainly in terms of engineering and design and figuring out how to make something that's flexible and robust and being able to adapt when you're really in, in the mix and in the heat of the competition. But I'd say the primary learning experience uh, for, for the group is, is really team building and, and, and the value of having an organized team that works well together and, and can overcome challenges as they arise. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.